as I have revealed to you in every time that I come in your midst. 每就像我每一次来到你们这里呢，我一定要跟你们讲这个。That the word of the Lord that came unto me concerning the Chinese people is this. 就是关于神给我的关于中国教会的话是这样的。Prepare my Chinese bride. 要为我预备中国新妇。And share with them the signs of the coming of the Lord Jesus. 跟他们分享耶稣基督要来的一些预兆。By that you may know. 他说在那里呢，你就会知道。How soon the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is. So that we shall pass our time on this earth with great fear and trembling. 也因此呢，我们要带着极大的战惊恐惧来度在世余下的光阴。My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 ，This world is not going to last forever and ever. 这这些这个世界呢，不是会永远存在的。You know when you read fairy tales. 因为当你 fairy tales. 哦，当你读读那个童话的的时候 ，You never read fairy tales. <laughs> they always end like this. 那个我们每一次读童话哈，最后总是这样说。And they live happily ever after. 他们也过着，他们永远过着幸福的日子。But whether they really live like that or not, we don't know. 是不是真的这样呢？我们其实不知道。See when you say happily ever after. 当我每一次说永远快活、快乐的度日的时候。It means forever and forever. 我们讲到永远就是指永永远远。There is no amen there. 这这是不这是不可能的，没有一个结束的。But our life on this earth is not going to be happily ever after. 问题是我们在这个世上的日子不可能像这样永远快乐的。If you read the book of Revelation， 如果我们读启示录的话 ，It shows us many many horrible things that are going to take place on this earth。在这个启示录里头告诉我们有很多在地上要发生很可怕的事。If only every believer will read the book of Revelation， 要是每一个信徒都来读启示录的话 ，You will not be living a life like how you are living right now。你就不会像现在这个样子来度你的日子。Your life Will dramatically change. Your life will dramatically change. Because we will live with fear and trembling. 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 That those days were the last days. They were so true. That that era, that was the last day. Now, why they believe like that? 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 Why 我们呃，我们这个活着的这个生命 ，is purely grace， 只是靠着神的恩典。Amen， 是不是 ？Purely grace we are living， 是完全靠神的恩典，我们今天活着。My dear brothers and sisters， 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 ，it is not the will of God， 这不是神的旨意。That his Chinese bride grow up ignorant， 他不要中国教会呢是无知的。So what are the signs of the coming of the Lord Jesus? So, when the Lord comes before, the sign is what? Look at verse four. We look at verse four. In verse four, the Lord Jesus said, "I will send my angel before the throne of God, and he will teach you all things and show you things to come." Look at verse four. In verse four, the Lord Jesus said, "I will send my angel before the throne of God, and he will teach you all things and show you things to come." Look at verse four. In verse four, the Lord Jesus said, "I will send my angel before the throne of God, and he will teach you all things and show you things to come." Look at verse four. In verse four, the Lord Jesus said, "I will send my angel before the throne of God, and he will teach you all things and show you things to come." Look at verse four. In verse four, the Lord Jesus said, "I will send my angel before the throne of God, and he will teach you all things and show you things to come." Look at verse four. In verse four, the Lord Jesus said, "I will send my angel before the throne of God, and he will teach you all things and show you things to come." Look Mark chapter thirteen verse five. Also, 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 Mark chapter thir
That no man deceive you. 不要让人迷惑你。My dear brothers and sisters. 亲爱的弟兄姊妹。In these last days. 就在这个末后的日子。A huge company of deceivers are going forth everywhere. 有极大的一大群的欺哄者已经到处去了。And the first sign the Lord Jesus said. 而主耶稣所告诉我们的第一个兆头。Be careful. 就是我们要谨慎。That nobody deceive you. 不要让人迷惑你们。There are seven kinds of people that will deceive us. 有七种人呢会来迷惑我们。Firstly, 第一种 Ephesians chapter five verse six tells us. 在啊以弗所书第五章第六节告诉我们。That the unbelievers will deceive us. 那些不信的人呢会来欺骗我们。Now the unbelievers are always waiting to trap us. 因为那些不信的人呢都常常等着要好像啊设陷阱给我们。What may seem good advice. What may seem good proposal? 似乎是很好的劝告。What may seem like a good deal? 好像听起来是很好的主意。They are not good. 可是实际上不是好的。See, the wisdom of God is far more better and superior than the wisdom of this world. 因为呢，神的智慧比世上的智慧好太多，高明太多了。Several years ago. 在几年前。One day I was speaking at a church. And as I was about to go up to the pulpit, 就在我要走上讲台的时候 ，I heard the voice of the Lord Jesus telling me. 我就听到主对我说 ，This year the stock market is going to crash in this country. 今年呢，啊，这个我国家的那个股票市场会会啊下跌。So warn the Christians. 所以要警告他们当中。That they don't put their money in the stock market. 不要再投资在股票市市场上。You see, God doesn't want you to lose your money. Because God doesn't want you to lose your money. He wants us. 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 The Bible doesn't say like that. The Bible doesn't say. God will teach you how to file for bankruptcy. This is not the ways of God. So I spoke this to the crowd. See, the problem is this. What would prophets of God know about economics? Because the economists paint a different picture. 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 So he came and asked me. So he came and asked me. So brother, according to your word, he said, "Brother, according to your word, shall I invest or not?" I said, "Don't do anything this year." I told him, "Don't do anything this year." Let this year pass by. Do it next year. Do it next year. Do it next year. So when he went back to his office, so when he went back to his office, all his other lawyer friends, so his other lawyer friends, they all were discussing about stocks and shares. 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 They all were When they all go out to mingle, 当他们都到外面去 ，You know what they will discuss? 你知道他们在讨论什么吗 ？Which stock to buy? 他们在在讨论说要买哪一个 ？Which shares to buy? 买什哪一个股份 ？See, nobody will ever discuss what did the pastor preach today. 他们都没有人在讨论说今天牧师在讲什么。So even during the service, 呃，甚至呢，在聚会当中 ，They are only meditating stocks and shares. 他们脑子里头想的都还是股票的。So the pastor's sermon is not entering into their ears. 所以牧师的信息呢都没有进到他们耳里。It goes in one ear and comes out another ear. 或者说从左耳进，从右耳出。So they all advise him. 
This is a good year to make money. So put all your money. So he emptied his bank account. Bought a very good share. One week passed by. The stock market increased. So the prophet is wrong. Isn't it? Second week, market went up. Oh, he called me, you know. Brother, the market is doing very well. I said, praise the Lord. Sell it quickly. Third week, as they were all expecting the market to go up, there came a crash. Suddenly, and this man lost all his money. In one split second, all the money gone. Was that the will of God? That's not the will of God. Because God wants us. My dear brothers and sisters. Unbelievers will deceive us. Secondly, Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 tells us. Christians can deceive us. Now these are the more dangerous people. Because the Christians will come and tell you. Sister, I have a word for you. God said like this. Your hair is too short. You must wear more nice colorful clothes. You always wear very plain clothes. Then our dear sister listens to that. So she thinks in her heart. Yeah, even Sadhu Musa always criticize me. My dear brothers and sisters, please listen. Good ideas are not God's ideas. Good advice are not God's advices. An idea may sound good. This plan, this ministry may sound good. But is that what God wants you to do? You do the wrong thing. You will open the door for the devil to attack you. You will get into all kinds of messes that nobody can deliver you. So many Christians get trapped like that. You know why? Because they think good ideas are good ideas. Good ideas are not God's ideas. Let me give you one example. In the Old Testament, there is a story. God spoke to a prophet. He said, you go to this particular city. Give this word to them. Then come back. Don't stay in any hotel. Don't eat dinner in anybody's house. Just quickly return. So this man goes. He gives the word. And he came back. As he was returning home, he met another elderly prophet from that same city. So after they finished the formalities. This prophet, the senior prophet told him, Please stay in my house tonight. So the junior said, No, God said I should go back home. So the senior prophet said, That's correct. But just now only, an angel came down and the angel told me to tell you you are very tired you are very hungry and I should take care of you tonight so please come home with me have you read this story? 
你们都听过这个故事吧？ So the junior junior prophet went to the senior prophet. 所以这个年轻的先知就跟着老先知回家去。As they were enjoying a delicious roast pork. 当他们正在吃大鱼大肉的时候。Actually, I should not use roast pork because they are Jews. They don't eat pork. 他说吃就烤猪肉的时候，他们犹太人不应该吃猪肉的。But let's imagine that this is China. 我们就假设说这个事情发生在中国。So these are Chinese prophets. 啊，这些都是中国先知。As they were eating, 就在他们吃的时候。Now listen what happened. 你仔细听听看，什么事情发生 ？The spirit of the Lord, 神的灵 ，a true anointing from heaven， 是真正的从天上来的。Came down upon the senior prophet. 这个时候就临到老先知身上。And now the senior prophet prophesizes. 这个时候，这老先知就对那那个年轻的先知说预言。You silly fool. 你这些愚昧，你这个愚昧的人。Because you disobeyed me. 因为你不顺服我。When you go back, 当你回去的时候 ，a lion will kill you. 有一个狮子要把你杀了。So the junior prophet quickly went home. 所以这个那个年轻的先知赶快回家。Along the way, 就在路上呢。He was repenting. 他们是在悔改。Repenting and crying to God. 又悔改又跟神哭。After he has left for some time, 就在他过了一下子之后 ，the old prophet. He was quite worried for him. 就就很担心他。So he went after. 就跟着他跑，后面就跟过去了。To see what was happening. 看看有什么事情发生在他身上。Just about half a mile away from his house. 就离老先知家大概半里路远的地方。He saw the old prophet, the young prophet. 他就看到这个年轻的先知。Body torn apart to pieces. 他的身体呢，被被撕成呃碎片。A lion came. 有一只狮子来了。Just broke his body apart to pieces. 就是把他身体撕裂了。And that body is lying there. 那个尸体就躺在地上。And the donkey on which he rode is standing there. 另外，他所骑的那个驴子也站在旁边。And the lion is also standing there. 连那个狮子也站在旁边。See the beauty is this. 那这这件事情美的地方在这里。The lion never killed the donkey. 这个狮子呢，居然没有杀这这个驴子。You know why? 你知道为什么吗 ？Because God told the lion. 因为神跟狮子说。Only eat the prophet. 只吃这个先知。Don't touch the donkey. 不可以碰那个驴子。Because donkeys are innocent creatures. 因为这个这个驴子呢是是是没有犯罪的。My dear brothers and sisters, whether it's a senior prophet or most senior prophet, so if God gives you a word, 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 if God gives you a Let me give you one very good example. 我现在给你一个很好的例子。You know when the Lord Jesus called me to the ministry. 就是当耶稣基督呼召我进入全世界的服侍。No, you all call me Sadhu Musu. 你们都叫我 Sadhu Musu. You know when actually you call Sadhu Musu means what? 你知道当你如果你称我 Sadhu Musu 那个意思就是。It means Musu Musu. 意思就是我必须是牧会的牧师。Because the word Sadhu itself is a title. 因为哦哦，你就等于是叫我 Sadhu Musu 就叫我牧师牧师。对，<笑> it is a title like a reverend. 因为撒度呢，这个这个字的意思就是就是牧师的意思。So part of the call is. 所以这个啊、uh, ，这个呼召，这个名字呼召的一部分是。The sadhus in India they don't get married. 这个在印度呢，做做撒度呢是不结婚。So that call means it's like that. 所以这个名字的意思呢，是像这个样子。And they don't have any attachment to families. 所以他们不需要呢依恋或是眷恋家庭。They are like a lone rangers. 他们就好像是啊、呃、独行侠。They don't own anything on this earth. 他们在这世上呢啊、呃、不不拥有什么东西。Just like a vagabond. I know you cannot translate. <laughs> like a pilgrim not traveling from place to place. 就好像是那个啊、呃、流浪汉一样。So this is my call. So, God gave me the call. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus. This I heard very clearly from the Lord Jesus.
preaching. 就在他讲完道之后 ，He called all those who are full-time ministry to come forward for prayer. 他就叫他就呼召所有全时间服侍人到前面来祷告。So when he, I was sitting in the first row, 那因为那时候我是坐第一排。So before I could stand up, 所以就在我站起来以前。He said, "You brother, please come first." 他说，哎，你弟兄，你你先来。So I went and stood. 所以我就来站前面。For ten minutes, he prophesied for me. 他就用十分钟呢对我说预言。Wonderful good things. 都是讲一些很好的事。So finished. 所以就讲完了。He went to the second person and down the row. 然后他就为第二个、第三个一路祷告下去。And when everybody went back to their seats. 那当每一个人回到他们自己的座位。He said, "Please, brother, come again." 他就说，弟兄，请你再到前面。So I went and stood there. 所以我就在在在在他前面。And this time he didn't speak through the mic. 这次呢，他没有用麦克风讲。He came very close to me. 他在我的来到我的旁边，很靠近。You know, when I was praying for you. 他说，当我在为你祷告的时候。I feel very strongly in my spirit. 在我灵里头很强的感到。That God wants you to get married. 神要你结婚。So you please go and get married. 所以请你要结要结婚。So I looked at him. 所以我就看着他。I said, how can that be? 我说那怎么可能呢 ？See, I had the guts to argue with the senior prophet. 你看我那时候都有胆哈，可以敢跟这样的。I said, how can that be? 辩辩论，我说这怎么可能 ？This is how God called me. 啊，因为是是神已经这样的呼召我。So when I said that, 所以当我这样说的时候 ，the prophet was taken aback. He got surprised. He was very surprised. And he said, "Oh, by you go and pray." He said, "Oh, 那你就去去祷告。So I said, "All right." 我就我就说好。But I never prayed. 可是我就没有在祷告。And prior to that, 就在这个之前 ，another prophet came. 有另外一个先知来。A very good friend of mine. 是我一个很好的朋友。And when he was praying with me, 当他在跟我祷告的时候 ，He said, "Sadhu." 他说 ，Sadhu. Now you are a sadhu. God is going to slowly increase your ministry. And you're going to travel from all over the world. Your feet will step on all the five continents. So when you reach that stage, you will become an apostle. When you become an apostle, you will get married. So prophets are single. So, ah, prophets are one. But apostles are married. Ah, 可是使那个啊，先知都是一个人单身的，可是使徒都是已婚的。啊，两个人。都是结婚的。一个人 ，and then 两个人。So when that man said like that. So when that man said like that. And then this prophet said like that. 然后这个先知也这样说。In the mouth of two or three witnesses, everything shall be established. 不是圣经上说两三个人的口呢，就句句都定准吗？对不对？是不是？对。So two prophets say the same word. 所以你看两个先知说同样的话。How can they be wrong? 那这个怎么可能会错呢 ？So I became very, very upset. 所以我心里头就非常的啊不开心。Very, very worried. So every day I would look at my picture. 我就看我的照片。Long hair, long beard. 头发这么长，胡子这么长。If I get married. 如果结婚呢 ？The first thing the girl will say, cut this, cut that. 我的太太一定首先又要求我呢，把这个剪掉，把那个剪修掉。So for three days I was very, very upset. 所以有三天呢，我就很心里都很不痛快。Very confused. Because these are not ordinary believers who gave the word. Because giving me this word is not ordinary believers. Senior prophets. Is very experienced people who walk with God. Is with God. So for three days I was praying. 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 So for three days I was The call that I give to you. 我给你的那个呼召。It is a perpetual covenant. 是永远的一个呼召，一个约。Not. 我是不改变的。Amen. Amen. See, when God gives you a word. 所以当神给你一句话的。Only He can change it. 只有他可以改变。Don't listen to any man to change it. 所以不要让任何人来改变他的话。See, Christians can deceive us. 所以你看，基督徒也会迷惑我们。Thirdly. 第三个。False teachers will come to deceive us. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. 在帖撒罗尼迦后书第二章第三节。False teachers bringing false teachings into the body of Christ. 就是会有一些啊假假师傅呢，会带着假的教训进到教会里面。Fourthly. 第四个。
False prophets will deceive us. Jeremiah chapter 27 verse 9. 29 verse 8. The false prophets will give a false prophecy. Will share a poor false vision. And stir our life in the wrong direction. Be careful. Amen. Amen. Be very careful. Don't buy all these prophecies wholesale. You know what is the greatest sin in the church today? Prophets have become astrologers. And that is because of two problems. Firstly, it is the believer's problem. Secondly, it is the prophet's problem. Why it is the believer's problem? Because the believers will go to the prophet. Pastor, please pray for me. What is God's word for me? See, when you do that, you know what you are doing? When Buddhist people, they will go to the temple and they will pick up sticks and they will shake the sticks and they will throw the stick down have you done that before? no 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 and you pick the stick and it will tell you your future and the Hindu people also do the same thing they all have a small little bird and many cards. So the Hindu people go to this astrologer to know about their future. So the astrologer will call the bird. Birdie comes out. And the bird will come hopping. And will say, This is a. Uh, Jane! <laughs> Take one card for Jane! So the bird will look up at Jane. If she likes the face, it will take a good card. If it doesn't like the face, it will take a bad card. And in the card, there will be one general prophecy. So the astrologer will read. This is what will happen to you. You know, you, can you imagine? Your entire future is in the hands of a bird. <laughs> if the bird was in a bad mood that day, <laughs> your whole future gone. See, the Hindus do like that. The Buddhists do like that. The Christians do the same thing. Same method. You go up to the prophet. What's God's word for me? So because you ask, and because you give an offering, so what do the prophets have to do? We, even without the anointing, because they've received your offering, they'll have to say something. You know, we laugh. I make my illustrations humorous. But it is a fact. This is what is happening everywhere. So the prophets are going astray. And the believers are going astray. This is not God's will. Romans chapter 8 verse 14 and 15 tells us God wants to lead his children by his spirit. Amen. The spirit of God himself will speak to you. Now why Christians resort to the prophets? There's one simple reason for that. Because they are lazy. Amen. 
They have they are simply lazy. They have no time to pray. No time to read the word. No time to wait on the Lord. They want shortcut. Drive past McDonald's. So in the same way you drive past the prophet. Along the way you pick up a burger. You pick up a word. You will get deceived. Be careful. God will speak to us. Then you take it up to your church pastor. And your pastor will pray and confirm it. This is the right way. Not the other way around. Amen. So false prophets can deceive us. So Fifthly, the Antichrist is coming to deceive us. Second John verse seven. There are so many antichrists. All those who deny Jesus Christ come in the flesh is an antichrist. So in the for Jesus Satan will deceive us. Satan First Timothy chapter two verse four. 在提摩太前书, 啊, 第二章的第四节, seventh. 第七, the seventh person is the most dangerous of all the other six. Because all the other six are easy to recognize. But the seventh is almost impossible to recognize. Please listen carefully who is the seventh person. The seventh person is you. Our own heart can deceive us. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 16. These two scriptures tell us our own heart can deceive us. How? Let's say you are praying and you feel a voice speaking. Dear son, look at the beautiful girl sitting beside you. This is the woman that you are going to marry. And before he heard the voice, this boy is already interested in that girl. So he pretends to pray. And what comes out is your own desire. And you think it is the Holy Spirit speaking. And then you go and tell the girl. And today girls also tell the boys. Thus says the Lord. I should marry you. And they'll go and tell the pastor. Pastor, yesterday I saw a vision. You know, all their life they have never seen a vision. Suddenly their spiritual eyes are open. Suddenly the spiritual ears are open. Only for this particular subject, they are all open. For everything else, they are all shut. They don't hear God telling them live holy. They don't hear God say put away sin. All those things are shut. But girlfriend, boyfriend all open. Be careful. Many, many young people have made grave mistakes in this area. Not only in life partners, but also other areas of your life. Your heart can deceive you. So these are the seven 
first people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people can we protect ourselves from not being deceived? So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. So this is the seven people who can deceive you. Through the word of God. 就是透过神的话语。God will not speak anything that is contradictory to His word. 神不会跟我们讲任何话呢，是跟圣经冲突的。The word of God is our standard. 所以呢，神的话就是我们的标准。Now when your heart is full of the word of God. 如果你心里面满了神的话。Colossians chapter three verse sixteen says. 哥罗西书第三章十六节说。Let your heart be filled with the word. 让你让神的话丰丰富富的藏在你心里面。When your heart God is full of the word of truth. 如果你心里面充满了神的话跟真理。Romans twelve two says. 罗马书第十二章第二节说。Your mind will be renewed and transformed. 你的心意就会更新而变化。When your mind is renewed and transformed. 如果你心意已经更新变化了。Ephesians four twenty three says. 这个时候，以佛所书第四章二三节告诉我们 ：Your spirit man is renewed。你你你里面的人呢，就会被更新了。See, it is a threefold renewal taking place inside you through the word of God。所以透过神的话呢，有三种的更新在你里面就发生了。Your spirit is renewed。第一，你的灵就更新了。So that it can be very sensitive to hear the Holy Spirit。以至于呢，你的灵就非常对圣对圣灵的声音就变得非常的敏锐。And your mind is renewed。第二个呢，你的思想也会被更新。So that you can clearly understand what the Holy Spirit is talking to us。这样的话，你你的头脑就可以很清楚的明白圣灵对你说的话。Under that atmosphere， 就在那样的气氛里面 ，You can perfectly know。你可以很完全的知道 ，What is the perfect will of God？ 神对你有的那个完美的旨旨意是什么 ？Amen。Amen. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. Every decision that I make is after many, many days of prayer. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. This is what I practice in my own life. Last eight months. 我我特意的呢，过去八个月用来祷告。Just to buy the right equipment. 就是为了要买对的器材。See there are many many good equipment. 你知道有很多器材都是很好的。So which are the right equipment to buy? 可是呢，到底是哪一个才是我们该买的 ？Because the people who want to sell will propose a certain equipment. 因为呢，他们要卖的人都会推销他们的。Because they want to get rid of their stock. 因为他们想要把他们的存货啊卖掉。But that may not be the right equipment. 可是这个不一定呢，是我们最适合我们的。Many many hours and days in prayer. 所以我就花很多时日来祷告。When the right word comes from God, 当那个神的话，嗯，从神那里来了。How to recognize that? 那我们怎么样去辨认那是从神来的 ？I will now share with you one little secret. 那我先要跟你们啊，给你们一个小秘诀。So that you can know. 使你可以知道。How to recognize that? 如何能够分辨 ？When the right word comes from God, 当那个对的话从神来 ，It will give you an unshakable faith. You will have a deep knowing in your heart. You 里面会有一个深知确信。This is it. 这个就是了。Nothing else. 再有什么都不是。Unshakable. 你这个信心呢是不能动摇的。You will not waver. 你就不会再摇摆了。Even though you may face obstacles. 就即使你将来会遇到一些困难。You will not waver. 可是你不会再摇摆。Because you will have a deep, settled peace in your heart. 因为你内心里面呢有一个极深的平安。Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 ，the first sign that the Lord Jesus told us. 所以这个耶稣告诉我们的第一个兆头 ，be not deceived. 不要被迷惑。And what should we do? 那我们应该怎么办呢 ？Matthew twenty four forty two. 呃，马太福音二十四章的四十二节。Be watchful unto prayer. 要警醒祷告。Be watchful unto prayer. 要警醒祷告。You know, one of the most dangerous or most scariest scripture in the Bible is found in Matthew 24. 你知道最可怕的、最最呃危险的经文呢，就是在马太福音第二十四章。Look at 
chapter twenty-four, verse twenty-four. 你看二十四章的二十四节。This is the most scariest scripture in the Bible. 这是圣经里面最吓人的一节经文。好，我们来看哈，因为假基督、假先知将要起来，显大神机、大奇事。倘若能行，连选民也就迷惑了。Look at the last sentence. 我们来看最后一一。If it is possible, the very elect, even the chosen ones, even the most senior saints of God, even the very mature believers, even they can get deceived. If it is possible, if you are not alert, so if you are not watchful, if you are not watchful unto prayer, 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 if It at the hour of temptation. That will in your temptation. Amen. Amen.